Hi everyone, it's Haley Malnicki, your school dietitian here, back for another episode of Quarantine Cooking, where today I'm going to show you how to make my easy tuna salad. So, if you don't like tuna salad, you can always just do this with canned chicken if you'd like. It also works great with canned salmon. So I just have two cans of albacore tuna that was packed in water, whatever tuna that you have on hand or your favorite. I have one celery stalk. I chopped half, but I'm going to chop the other into a small dice. And again, ask an adult if you are not comfortable using a knife. So I'm just gonna give this a quick chop, just to give it a little bit of crunch. If you don't have celery, you could always just use a bell pepper or a cucumber, anything that would give it a nice little bite. So I'm gonna add in my celery right into my tuna. Add that in, just one or two stalks, whatever you'd like. And then I'm gonna add in the rest of my ingredients. So I like to add a squeeze of mustard. If you don't, you can omit, no big deal. A good squirt of that. And then I'm going to add a little bit of pickle relish. This just gives it really great flavor and also a tanginess. And then instead of mayonnaise, I use non-fat plain Greek yogurt. So this is just regular store-bought Greek yogurt. You can use your favorite brand. Just make sure it's plain and not vanilla. We don't want it to be a vanilla -y flavor. So I'm gonna add a big, oops, heaping scoop of that. And if you're not 100% sold on the Greek yogurt, you can always just use mayonnaise. We don't have any mayonnaise. So this is a great way to get my tuna salad, but without going to the grocery store an extra time. So I'm gonna give this all a good mix. If you have any herbs, if you like dill in your tuna salad or anything like that, you can add that in. I don't have any, so I'm just gonna omit it but I love the flavor that the pickle relish and the mustard give this. Give it a good stir. And I made enough for lunch today and probably lunch for tomorrow, so that's good. My favorite way to serve this is just over a salad in a wrap or on a sandwich, but I also like to just serve it up with some crackers, which is how I have it here. So I have my crackers, or if you want to do some veggies to dip in it, or anything like that, and then it all comes together nice and smooth. And I put it in my dish. And this is an easy little grab and go lunch. And I can just have it while I'm sitting doing homework or any type of schoolwork. Super easy, simple, delicious, and nutritious. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For all of our videos, you can go to the Farm to School Mohawk Valley Facebook page, as well as on YouTube at OHM Dietitian. And as always, on the Mix 102.5 Facebook page and website. I hope you guys enjoy it.